What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. I want to talk about flipping silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today i want to talk about flipping silver you know getting silver at today's spot price and then metaphorically speaking tomorrow's spot price if it was significantly higher than it is right now you flip it for, I guess, some profit or whatever. But before I really get into that, I just want to really quickly mention that I may or may not be in the process of flipping something else. Nothing precious metal related, but something I'm very excited about. And I'll talk about it during my next live stream, which I'm going to try to do tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you don't miss the live event. But moving forward back to silver, I was thinking about it. Many times in my videos, I like to put out some hypothetical scenarios. I like to plug in some arbitrary numbers just for the sake of conversation, just to think about it and just to talk about it. And I've mentioned many, many, many times in the past, I say it all the time, this is something that I do plan on doing. If the spot price of silver were to significantly increase, am I going to sell? No. What I would do or what I would try to do in that situation is take the silver, a portion of my silver, not all of it, not half of it, not even most of it, but a good portion of it and convert it into gold to preserve those high silver spot prices. If the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in due to silver increasing, that's what I would try to do. Now, I mentioned the other day something that I never really thought about. But I did a couple days ago, so I had to make a video about it, talking about what if the gold to silver ratio gap were to close in, not because of silver going up, but what if gold were to take a significant drop down? At that point, would I convert the silver into gold? No, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. I would convert a larger amount of my dollars into gold. But today, I was thinking about it. What if silver and gold were to both significantly increase. And for the sake of today's video, I wanna use an unrealistic, arbitrary number for this hypothetical situation. Let's just say, now I know this is gonna sound pretty stupid, let's just say silver shot up to $500 an ounce. Yeah, that's right, silver, $500 an ounce. Do I think that's ever going to happen? Absolutely not. It's just for the sake of the video. If silver went to, let's just say, $500 an ounce, let's just say gold went to, I, I don't know, $10,000 an ounce or something like that, and both metals became unrealistically expensive, far, far, far beyond what I would be willing to convert my own dollars into, the way I see it, Oftentimes, when it comes to anything, really, when it comes to precious metals, when it comes to business, when it comes to the stock market, when it comes to real estate, when it comes to anything, what goes up often comes back down. And in a situation like that is the only time I can actually really see myself, quote unquote, flipping my silver. As much as it pains me to say, because I know it sounds like I'm working backwards, if silver and gold were both to go to some crazy high number, at that point, I would probably temporarily, quote unquote, sell some silver, wait for it to come back down, and then, quote unquote, buy back in. You know how they say, buy low, sell high? As much as it pains me to say it when it comes to precious metals, just because I feel like I'm working backwards converting my fiat into money and then when the money becomes extremely extremely high in demand and valuable convert it back into fiat 
It sounds a little bit ridiculous and it kind of goes against what I normally believe, but in a situation like that, if it were to shoot all the way up to $500 or even $100 or, or whatever, I'm just using arbitrary, just fake made up numbers just for the sake of the conversation. If it were to do that, I unfortunately could see myself quote unquote selling and then quote unquote buying back in when the price comes to a lower, more realistic, logical opportunity in my opinion and from my perspective. Also important to remember that nothing I say on my channel is financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes and it's just kind of putting an idea out there that I probably doubt many people have really thought about before and I personally have not thought about it in this way from this angle and from this perspective and I was just thinking about it a lot today and not to mention as of about maybe 20 minutes ago, I may or may not be in the process of flipping something else. Nothing precious metal related, but something pretty cool. I'm a big believer in following or getting something that will soon be high in demand. And that's kind of what I did. And I don't want to talk about it much in this video because it has really nothing to do with silver or gold. But I'll talk about it during my live stream because many people know during my live streams, I like to talk about almost everything besides silver and gold. It gets a little bit too redundant, a little bit too repetitive to talk about silver and gold every single day, which I love doing, but then to come on at night and talk about silver and gold some more, it gets a little bit, it's like we're going in circles. So I'll, I'm going to talk about something different during the live stream. I'm going to try to do it tonight. Make sure your bell notifications are turned on. But I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts on this weird unrealistic hypothetical scenario where I just plugged in some random arbitrary numbers, ignore the gold to silver ratio in my arbitrary numbers. I, I just, off the top of my head, I just said $500 for silver, $10,000 for gold. But if silver and gold were both to equally significantly jump, if they both went up insane amounts but the gold to silver ratio was still pretty much the same, what would you do? What would you do at that point? Would you sell your silver? Quote unquote, sell your silver? I know it seems ridiculous. I know it seems counterproductive. I know it seems like you're working backwards, but in a situation like that, it's often an opportunity. And the way I see it is when it comes to following the money, or when it comes to following the trends, you got to know when to hop off. You got to know how long to really ride the wave for. Some people stay in things for too long and then they end up getting burned. And like I said, this is all just for the sake of the conversation. This is all for entertainment purposes. I just wanted to have a little bit different of a conversation today because an idea popped in my head that never popped in my head or came across my mind before. So I wanted to think about it. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to make a video about it. So let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything related to quote unquote flipping silver, even if not even using ridiculous numbers. If silver went to, I don't know, let's just say $25, $30 an ounce, would you flip your silver? Would you prefer to convert it into gold? Would you quote unquote sell it and then wait for it to come back down and then quote unquote buy almost twice as much or something like that? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, as well as a bunch of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. 
Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on flipping silver? Is it something that you've done in the past? Is it something that you could potentially see yourself doing in the future if the price is right? Is it something that you're completely against? Maybe you see other people flipping silver every time silver goes up 75 cents. You see a bunch of people, oh, I'm selling my silver. Let me know in the comments section down below anything and everything related to Flipping, silver, coins, rounds, bars, gold, precious metals. Let's have a conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace!